Lisa has come a long way in her training, but there's still a lot to do before she's considered fully trained. And I've decided that she would benefit from learning a lot of the tricks that a service dog would learn before they are certified. And so my goal right now is for her to learn how to politely walk through a door. A service dog can walk through a door two different ways. The first way is in front of their owner, but they have to go backwards and then sit on the other side of the door and wait for their owner to walk through. The other way is right behind their owner. So my goal for Lisa is to teach her to walk backwards through a door and sit on the other side and wait for me to walk through. And so she needs to know two basic skills before attempting to learn that trick, and that is to spin in a circle and to walk backwards on command. So today I'll be teaching you how to train your dog to spin in a circle. Lisa's favorite currency is the frisbee, so I'll be using that to train her to spin in a circle. I find it easier to teach them with a toy if you lure them, and I prefer shaping, but she does a lot better with a toy, so I'll be using luring to teach her this. So you're going to take your toy or your treat if you decide to use luring, and gently guide them in a circle and give them their treat or toy when they do it right. And I find that it helps if you say yes or good right as they complete their circle. Because it's kind of like using the clicker, it's marking good, go. It's kind of marking what they did and it'll make them learn faster. Good, go. Give it. Yes. And try to keep it closer to their... Give it. Try to keep it closer to their nose so that they don't jump up and then spin because I find that's not as pleasing. Um, and so if you keep it lower at first, they'll keep their feet on the floor and then you can phase out the balloon. Good girl. Good girl. And so, as your dog starts to get the idea, you can kind of phase out the lure by not doing a complete circle, just starting and then lifting the toy or treat away, and they should complete the circle. Yes! Now it is time to phase out the lure. So as I lure Lisa into a spin, I'm gonna stop my lure short so that she continues the circle on her own. Spin, good girl. Good girl, yes. Oh, it is good. Spin. Good.
Spin. Lisa. Spin. Good. Yes, good girl. There she offered it by herself. Even though I said spin early and she didn't do it right away, I'm gonna reward that because she then realized what I wanted. Give it, spin. Yes, good girl. So now she's starting to really understand that when I say that cue, what she's supposed to do. Spin. Yes! And it might be a little, um, it might not be perfect at first. Good girl, spin. But it will get better over time and they'll start to respond quicker to just the cue. Spin. Lisa. Spin. Good, yes! And make sure to give your dog plenty of praise for their efforts because it's using a lot of brain power for them to figure that out. Spin. Good girl! And you can keep your, your hand motion for spin if you want, but a lot of people like to just use the cue. Spin. Lisa, spin. Yes. Good girl. Lisa, spin. Good girl. And if you can, try to look for the moment when your dog is about to spin and say their cue right as they're starting to do it and it will help them make the connection faster. Spin. Spin. Good girl. Spin. Yes! And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and hit the bell to hear when new videos come out. Have a wonderful day. This is Lisa after we were working on our spin video. I think she's pretty happy. What do you guys think?